Thank you for interest in my talk. I'm Peter Sendula from <laughs> University of Vilna. And I want to get overview of our results on the analytical model of photocurrent and impedance of illuminated semiconductor electrolyte interfaces. Our work is supported by Ministry of Education and Science of Slovak Republic and European Regional Development Fund. Why are we motivated to do this? It's, no, it's well known that uh, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy is a powerful tool to give insights about the reaction and the recombination mechanism of photoelectrodes. And typically, these measurement, impedance measurements are described by the equivalent circuit model. For example, here on the left, I show the extracted uh, capacitance of the traps, charge transfer resistance of the traps, as it was uh, used in the study of Clar and Biscard to extract the properties of the hematite photoelectrode. However, this equivalent circuit model typically needs also some assumptions. In this left picture of the equivalent circuit of a uh, Biscard group from 2015, uh, several capacitances of the conduction band, valence band, and space charge capacitance are shown and the resistance of the charge transfer and recombination resistance. They assume both direct and indirect charge transfer and the chemical capacitance of the valence band depends on the whole concentration at the semiconductor electrolyte interface. However, the classical analytical models do not provide way to calculate this uh, whole concentration at the semiconductor electrolyte interface. Uh, and Biscard uses, uh, Bertolucci uses the drift diffusion simulations to get this uh, whole concentrations at the interface. This is, of course, drawback since you want simple equivalent circuit model without need to do the trade diffusion simulations. Therefore, we went to a journey to find another way around this. And in our model, we assume uh, N-type semiconductor with uniform photo generation rate, weak light absorption, in the semiconductor direct recombination mechanism pathway, which uh, is of course a, a strong assumption, which later on we want to re re reduce and go also to the chocolate rate hole recombination in the future. The reaction rate KVB from the valence band is assumed to be much slower than the recombination rate. And such regime we denote a recombination limited regime. On the left, I show the carrier concentrations. Uh, we assume also the quasi equilibrium, equilibrium of holes and electrons. And hence, we can describe uh, with the Boltzmann statistics the uh, carrier concentrations. By further Derivation, which I will not go into the detail, but you can find it in our paper, in JP, uh, JPCC. We obtained the diode photocurrent formula below a certain critical voltage. And this voltage range from the flat band to the critical voltage, we do not uh, smell on a deep bias here left on the figure. This First formula is the whole concentration from our model, obtained from our model, which is the formula based on the containing the 
direct recombination constant, donor concentration, your generation rate, and the diode factor. The photo current looks like this. And this condition that recombination is faster than reaction leads to the criteria that the, this model holds below the critical voltage VC given with this expression derived in the paper, in our paper. On the left <coughs> figure, I show the comparison of our analytic model in the green with the Reichmann model, which I mentioned, and you see here that it does it isn't Reichmann isn't able to describe <coughs> the numerical full numerical solution of uh, the distribution equation, which is shown in the blue. We see good overlap of our analytical model, green with the blue in the small analytic bias range. And the uh, full numerical simulations were done in Comsol Multiphysics without the uh, assumptions of the analytical model. And we have implemented both photocurrent and imped impedance simulations. So our equation or our model was validated against these full numerical simulations for uh, baseline param parameters resembling roughly amorphous silicon. Uh, and these parameters are similar as in the base squared uh, paper. We also validated the analytical model by sweeping uh, reaction rate KBB on the figure in the left. The, the direction of the arrow is in the increasing KVB in six orders of magnitude, the six steps. And the arrow is positioned at the value of critical voltage predicted from the model. And we see that it perfectly overlaps with the range, voltage range where the analytical model overlaps well with the blue full numerical solution. Similar validation is holds for the change in the recommendation constant B in six in five orders of magnitude in the direction of the arrow and also the critical voltage here nicely overlaps uh, from the analytic and numerical model. What happens when this recombination is similar to the reaction rate is that we switch, we, we derive that the model switches from the recombination limited regime, which is uh, here above B uh, greater than BC, this direct recombination, critical direct recombination rate denoted here and below when this recombination is uh, smaller, this recombination is smaller, the regime is either diffusion limited and uh, the more details can be found in the paper. We see here that the uh, analytic model again well resembles the full numerical solution for the recombination limited regime. Now, having, in, having at hand the minority concentration, we can plug it into the impedance model by considering only the direct change transfer. We obtain the formula, for example, for capacitance, only depending on the, on the symbols or parameters without need to go into the drift diffusion simulations. On the left, <clears throat> we show that almost for the full small anodic, anodic, bias range, anodic bias range, we have good overlap of the numerically computed resistance 
with the analytically computed resistance. Hence, we can use the impedance model now simply because we have the analytical formulas to, for example, extract the recombination rate and reaction rate. From resi resistance in the dark, when we have a model compatible semiconductor and data, experimental data, <coughs> from this formula, we can extract the reaction rate. And from the impedance under illumination, are, then we can extract the recombination rate B. In conclusion, I have shown the model, our model uh, to derive the diode-like photocurrent under a small bias, how it can be, how we can, how we used it for extracting the fully analytic equivalent circuit for the impedance response of the photo electrode and how we use this equivalent circuit to extract the reaction rate from the impedance in the dark and the recombination rate from the impedance under illumination. We are looking for experimental data and system and to validate this model and also include to include uh, Trebek assisted recombination into the model. Thank you for your attention and thanks to my colleagues in uh, Switzerland, Berlin and Britain for the, for the help. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.